Willpower is a muscle, man. It's a muscle. It has to be exercised to get stronger. It also atrophies when you don't use it. Willpower. The root of a successful person, a successful life, a foundational principle is impulse control. One of the key characteristics of successful people, men and women, is impulse control. The ability to deny what you want now for something greater you want later. Right? Delayed gratification is only arrived at with impulse control. Now, let's break it down a little bit. I'll relate it to my life. I didn't realize how much I said yes to myself until I started saying no to myself. I experienced so many bad nights, bad days, chaos, damage, pain, because of my lack of impulse control, of just doing what the fuck I wanted to do. Now, the reason why people have trouble with this and why I had trouble with this is because it was, it was vague. It was gray. It wasn't like I just did whatever the fuck I wanted all the time. Or else I would never have become a SEAL or a Legionnaire or any of that shit. So I could lie to myself. I could water it down and go, well, look at what I achieved here. Obviously, you know, I, I had discipline. That was why it was so difficult to identify and why it might be difficult to identify for you or somebody that's in a bad situation of what's causing this. Guaranteed. Start saying no to yourself. You have to start challenging your old ways of thinking. If you're not where you want to be, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> you're not doing it correctly. And that's what I had to come to terms with. What I'm doing is not working. I don't know. I'm homeless in my truck about ready to kill myself. I obviously don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I have to start... What I, the, the decisions I'm making, the things I'm I'm negotiating and deciding are correct or go, or a good decision is not working for me. So that's when I knew I had to strip it down and I had to go to the French Foreign Legion and get a big boy timeout for years and years and years. I don't think you have to go timeout for a half decade. You can just learn from me right here. Learn from my mistakes. How do we start? Let's always, because information's not power, as we say, information applied is power. And it's also the only thing that matters. How do we apply this and exercise this in our lives? First off, start with the morning. Start with the morning. Do you want to, when you wake up and you want to sleep in, say no to yourself? No, I'm going to get up. That immediate act, you're starting the momentum in the correct direction. That's what you want, momentum. Begin exercising that willpower muscle. You have to have the will to do shit you don't want to do. So start at the beginning and set the tone for the rest of your day. Now, moving into the rest of the day, right? I won't get into the specifics of morning process. Or whatever. People want to learn my morning process, reach out to me, man. All my contact info is in the description. Go ahead. I'm you. Reach out. You're going to talk to me. So I'll go through all this because it's so important is that morning process. Now, I'll get off my, my pedestal with that. The next piece is the middle of your day. The meat and potatoes of your day are wildly important and also where a lot of mistakes are made. Now... People go to work and they do all this stuff and they you know, they say they're good, but they don't have the results in their life that they want. So obviously there's a piece that is missing. Now, most people when they're at work, 
they're not having the option to make bad decisions, right? So that's usually not where it is. It's not where you're at work on the clock or whatever, because those times are regimented. You have some parameters. People run into issues unless you're making, you know, immoral calls on on duty. But I don't think that's the case for a lot of my, my a lot of this community, right? That's not where the issues are. The issues are on a off the field time. The off the clock time. When we're free to move, man. When we have to have freedom, we got enough rope to hang ourselves with. So we have to lock it on then too, man. Put yourself on a positive schedule. Because if you don't fill it with something positive, you're going to fill it with something negative. So start exercising your willpower immediately. If you haven't trained a little bit in the morning or whatever, and you do it in the afternoon, do not go home and sit on the couch and do what you what that human nature wants to do is just push you into a state of comfort. Go train. Do not eat some shitty food and go sit on the couch. Don't do it. It's going to suck your motivation out. It's gonna, this is where small incremental decisions that seem insignificant are what add up to a wasted life. Small decisions. Death by a thousand paper cuts. Be smart about every small decision. Nothing in this life is meaningless. Everything matters. The butterfly effect in this life is so massively powerful that you have got to be aware of every small decision. That is the, you got to know that to be true in your heart to really start making effective change in your life. Now, The weekend time. People in the week, obviously during the clock, like we talked about, not an issue. People kind of in their, they have a compressed schedule in the evening, maybe their weekends. Weekends are when shit goes off the rails and when it has for me, almost all the bad shit that's happened in my life was on the weekends, man. So, have the willpower to say, I'm going to hold myself to a higher standard. Dude, you're not going to miss that party. No great virtues there that's going to change your life for better. You're going to be okay. And you're going to be grateful that next morning when you wake up and feel good and can actually action and execute on some positive shit. Build that business plan. Go train. Go out in the sun versus sitting on the couch hungover or whatever. Exercise that willpower. It's going to feel foreign. It's going to feel weak. You're going to want to negotiate and convince yourself of shit. That's the thing to be aware of. When you want to make a call and you go, man, I think I can, yeah, I, sh I could just go down to the strip club or whatever. Bro, you're negotiating. That is a negotiation. You don't negotiate, man, I'm going to go to the gym and eat, eat correctly. You don't go, well, maybe I should. No, you don't negotiate it. You know it's a good call. You may not want to do it, but you know it's a good call. You don't negotiate a beautiful choice. A beautiful choice again and again and again and again and again is what adds up and culminates to a beautiful life. There's no way to mix up that equation or to try to substitute or, or round it or cut some corners. It doesn't work. Exercise that, man, it's like a bicep, dude. You got to flex it. Exercise that willpower. Exercise it every day. Every single day, make that purpose-driven choice over that pleasure-driven choice. And it gets stronger and easier and easier to walk that purpose-driven path. And you're going to feel so much better and be so much stronger and better for it doing it. Be smart. Out here.